period just went right for the equation. Everybody should see these. Five cubes, four squares, negative four, ooh, magenta four squares, three green segs, and eight ones. You got to admit, if this is a meta pattern and you're a little kid, you would be fun to know that you were seeing stuff. Cubic equations usually get introduced in Algebra 2. You're usually in 10th or 11th grade. It's not a concept that's well understood. That's what I taught Algebra. Oh, you want to convert it all to green? He wants the quantity. Now, see, the trouble is, if I convert this to a quantity, which I can do, the uh, Leslie, you ought to come by and play with the squid. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the, the controller. The squid lets you change things. So I'm now going to push the quantity button. And if I hit send, um, let's see here, base A. Oh, but foil is so primitive now. There. <laughs> Look at it. Now you, what happened is, and this is very important. A good, thank you, Leslie, for pointing out. This is very important to understand. I just showed you the decimal representation of that last equation. I went to base 10, and I put the 5 cubed minus 4 squared plus 3x plus 8, and I put it in base 10, and notice how I no longer see the meta pattern. I no longer see the equation that somebody that David wrote down at 954. We just lost the connection to algebra when we went to a decimal representation of the number. That's this lesson. What I want to talk to you about, I want to tell you some of the problems here. All these are contained. In other words, the coefficient, which is what we've been seeing, the meta pattern reveals the coefficient of your polynomial. So if you're if you're if you're looking at the polynomial, that that little meta pattern when you when you see it in the hold on, I'm in the I was trying to give you one more example. That meta pattern, that, if this is a meta pattern that I'm putting up here, you're looking at the coefficients. That's a negative 4 for the cube. That's the coefficient for the cube term. Negative 2 is the coefficient for the square term. Positive 6 is the coefficient for the seg term. And negative 8 is the constant. Problem is, what if, I, what if my coefficient were 13? What if it was 17.596? What if it was pi? How do, how do I see that meta pattern? I have no idea. But I do know this. If I give you a good foundation in how you can see coefficients, that then when I start talking about the coefficient for the cube term being pi, you can start imagining that you're looking at a pi by pi by pi cube. You can almost start seeing what it looks like. And if you have a negative 37.29 coefficient for your squares, you can almost see that you have a magenta cube that is negative 37.29 on each side. You just... It, it just makes it makes things so much easier, but that is a problem. Another problem that we have is how do you express something when the coefficients change back and forth between negative and positive? How do we write that down? And you've been doing that today. I see what Uta wrote down at 957, negative 4 comma negative 2 comma plus 6, negative 8. She just wrote down the coefficients. So we're running into new things that we, we don't, we're not used to seeing these things. Maybe it's a set theory. Some of you mathematicians that are into sets. Maybe what we're doing is coefficients of sets. We don't know. We know that there's a whole lot of stuff. 
when I first came here uh, three years ago and my research said I need to go visualize these numbers, I didn't know that there were meta patterns. I just knew that if you could see numbers, it was really cool. If you could see big numbers, I thought that would really help kids. And while we were playing with the really big numbers, all of a sudden I saw these meta patterns. I've since now figured out how to take this foundation of the meta patterns and turn this into general equations that can be solved in calculus and give you a prelude to derivatives and integration. And that's next class. Okay, so bio. we're gonna yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take a bio break. I'm gonna throw